Hi everyone, it's Crappy Kathy here with a twofer. Um, today is our um, Mad About Mini Paper Pads hop, and it's also my um, challenge team day for Bramble Fox. So I'm using not exactly a mini paper pad, but rather a mini paper stack. Um, Coke, um, get this out. This is 49 and Market's uh, Spectrum Gardenia. And 49 and Market doesn't do pads. They don't bind their small papers. They just send them to you in a stack. So I've used this stack to create a, well, let me tell you about the challenge this month at Bramble Fox. The challenge is to use hidden journaling. And that's something that I uh, love to do when I think about it and um, uh, don't use often enough. Um, I'll sometimes the journaling that I want to write is too personal or it would be too long to tell the story behind the photos. So I often will just let the page go without journaling thinking ah, I can do it later. And, and hidden journaling is kind of the way to go. So anyway, I took um, some of these pages and cut them in half, postcard size, and made a little book, punched a hole, and used one of these little safety pins. I have a whole slew of them in different colors. I chose silver because I was using this iridescent glaze that looks a little bit silver. And uh, I got these from Bramble Fox. They are the greatest things. It's a great way to add interest to your pages. And in this case, it was a great way to bind my little book. I've added some photos. I don't have all of the photos that are gonna go on here, but the story that's told with the photos is documented here on the very last page. And I have the backs of some of the pages that are empty and that's where the other photos will go. And I do a little bit of journaling, like I put the date on this one. This is Barrett's very first day of school, his very first day of preschool, first day of any kind of school. <laughs> and today, we're taking him to move into his uh, dorm, his uh, apartment at college, at university. And so we had a dinner last night and that's where some of these photos came from. And I'll place this on here. What I have done for my background is I brushed on some yellow um, mustard seed and squeezed lemonade um, um, distress oxides and then I used this beautiful stencil that came in the uh, August Fox Box Plus and I just kind of barely kind of brushed on or, or scraped on some of the uh, texture paste. And the texture paste is uh, Iridescent Glaze by Vicki Booten. And <clears throat> it's actually clear, but in the light that I have here, it kind of looks a little bit silver. And I've used a, uh, well, I'm assembling kind of a title block up here, and I'm using this border punch or border die. I've, I've used these a lot, but this is the first time I've used the one that makes little tickets. And so I did, I think, three sets of tickets that I will layer up. I absolutely love this die and all of the others too. It makes a little bit different kind of notebook um, edges. So I don't think I've used that one. I've used these two, I know. So I'm gonna put those aside. I'll put the stencil aside. 
and I did this ahead of time just so that it could dry. I have my little tray of Bramble Fox goodies here, and I have a tray of things that I'm pretty sure I'm going to use. So I want to assemble the title piece first, and we'll see. I'm using this title, which came in the August Fox box, and I just got it yesterday, and this title actually gave me the idea for the, the subject of the page that I'm doing today. So that, the take the photo, like I said, came in the mail. I don't think I even opened it until I got home last night after dinner. And when we were out at dinner, uh, I wanted to take a picture of Barrett, who was sitting right across the table from me. He said, no, nah, Grandma, he said, I'm not in the mood tonight. He said, I'm, I'm worried that I'm forgetting something or, you know, all of those uh, grown-up worries that you have when you're leaving home for the first time. And uh, he said, tomorrow, when, we're, when I'm moving in, you can take as many pictures as you want, but tonight, let's not. So I get home, and the Fox Box has take the photo in it. So I thought, okay, that's going to be my title and I'm going to build my page around that title. So I'm going to put it right over here. Let's do these. I'm going to put this. My idea is that I'm going to have these strips and this will go there and then going right there I thought I'd do something like that kind of to make a, a corner-ish sort of thing so I want to be sure that I have room for that so I need this these strips to be low enough and I I think I I kind of measured that right there so let me, and all, everything on here uh, that's paper came from the six by eight paper stack from Spectrum Gardenia. So I'm gonna put that there, and then I think I'll use this. I, I could go with either side. I don't want the the pure blue, so I'm going to go with this. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to take this up and put this under. I want them layered over each other this way and not, and I want them kind of wonky like that. So I'll just redo that and I'll put some glue under there. I'm going to maybe lift this a bit and get some glue under there. Okay, so those are down. And I have, my idea is that I'm going to use this twine to um, trail down from this, um, this hole. <laughs> down to the um, the pin in the book. So that's kind of, uh, and I'm going to loosely thread that just to kind of keep that idea going. Now I'm going to do here, I might do some of these tickets behind, in fact, I'm going to do the tickets behind here. Um, I've glued, this is a little Bramble Fox clip, and I've glued that to the back, kind of as a way of, of lifting it up. So I'm going to put 
these guys. I'm gonna staple them. And let the staple show. And then this one, I'm gonna put kind of this way, and I'm going to glue it onto the back here. And that will have the tickets all at different heights. Okay, so let me cut the edge of that ticket flush with the red tag. And I made, I cut the edges on that to kind of make it a tag. Um, I'm going to put a bunch of glue there and let this I'm going to overlap that. Okay. Now, I have this little guy And I thought I'd put that there, and then take the photo right there. Not liking that. I'm going to do take the photo like this. I'll have take the up there and photo there. I can do this right here and this right there. I'm liking that. So let's get that finished. Okay, and let's get this glued down. I'm going to have it somewhat overlapping the tickets there. And I'm going to press that down, really, because the paper's just a tiny bit warped from the texture paste. This wooden camera also came from Bramble Fox. It was in a, a photography-themed uh, set, and it's uh, all that's left in my stash. From that set. Okay, now I'm going to bring this down to about right there. And I'm going to glue down this bottom sheet. And I want to get it parallel. And I'll sh go take you through and show you the Bramble Fox products I've used there. The thickness of the Bramble Fox perspectives actually gives some um, separation to the pages to make them easier to turn. A lot of people put tags or things out on the side so that you can grab hold of a tab or a, or a, or a tag and if you put something dimensional in there, and yes, this is going in an album, and yes, it's going to be uh, thick. <laughs> um, what I may do, and I have done in the past when I have um, photo books like this, uh, is I cut a slit in the uh, page protector and let this sit on the outside and in this case, I will need something to kind of hold it together on the outside if I do that. But um, we shall see. Okay, what I want to do here, the last 
part of this is to get my twine kind of um, attractively arranged on here. And I kind of like that curve there. Let's get it kind of separated out from, okay, that seems to, to work. And let me get this, um, I guess you can't really see what I'm doing there. I'm, I'm kind of, kind of curved it around and I'm gluing it in two places so that right here it'll kind of stay a little bit loose. And then I've got it around there. I'm going to wind it through again. And let it kind of go I might pull it a little tighter. I don't want it to hide the title. I might try to thread it through this by lifting the camera. The glue dries too fast. <laughs> There we go. And then it's, it kind of comes this way and I'm gonna keep it going that way by gluing it there. And I'll kind of keep that. I want it to look like it naturally fell that way. And so I go to a lot of trouble. It's kind of like um, going to a lot of trouble with your makeup to look like you didn't need any makeup. and. <laughs> didn't use any there and kind of around here okay and let's see it seems like I might need a little cluster of something down here so let's go through and see if I have I have this that I could maybe do a, um, a floral, or why don't I just do a fussy cut floral. This was on one of the uh, papers. Let's see, I'm gonna go with the sunflower-ish looking flower and I'll cut a leaf that's probably nothing like a sunflower leaf and I'm just gonna kind of roughly do this and I'll put a, a bow on it and this is kind of a way to say John's looking down and wishing him luck. John was his um, most ardent uh, football fan and I hate that he's missing um, all of this Hurrah, the, and, and the way Barrett did it by joining the Army Reserves and so that he could, you know, pay f for school himself. And, you know, that's kind of advice I think John would have or maybe even did give him uh, back in the day. 
And I hate that Barrett doesn't have John to share this with. I'm just grateful that I get to see it and participate in it. So I'm I'm going to, um, because I'm doing this page by the week four um, summer challenge rules, I'm going to publish it in the, the challenge um, I'll do that. I'll put this on some foam. Let me get it. And I won't publish the video or uh, post any of the detail, um, the close-up pages. And uh, by then I will have finished, when I post it um, on the 17th, I'll have the rest of the photos in the, the little booklet. So I'm putting that right there and I'm just going to glue this under and then I'm going to cut out the little there's a blue striped ribbon bow here and I'm going to cut that out. Let me cut it out of the <laughs> page here. Okay. I'm really happy with that. I think you can still read photo. It might have been better to put one of the lighter ones on top. I think that's why I got the idea to do that. Um, and I should have layered them maybe a little bit different way to for it to have the maximum readability. But I think it's readable. It's readable in person. I worry that it might not uh, translate as well in photographs for uh, you or in this video for you all to see. And. Um, put that in straight I will be done with this in a minute if I'll just stop talking and keep cutting I love this these ribbons that Katie Pratit does she's been doing digital images for so long she can really make them realistic and these just look when you put them on your page they just look like grow green ribbons and it's just beautiful. So I'm going to put that right there. And that'll bring that color blue into the thing. Let me check my summer challenge requirements. Um, I need a rectangle. And I've got, um, I, need, I need something right there. I'm going to do a... I guess I'll use this little red butterfly. I want to use, I want everything on the page to be from the same uh, six by eight papers. So that limits me in the color of my butterfly. I'll leave some white around it. Um, so that it'll differentiate it from the red ticket there, or tag. It's a seed packet that I cut the edges and made a tag out of. And I wanted that vivid red in there. Let's do this now right there like that. That covers that uh, ugly edge up and you can see the butterfly and let's see I need a that's the, uh, the tickets are rectangles 
and um, the book pages are rectangles, so I think that qualifies. Uh, the color yellow, I have this yellow arrow. Uh, wood, I've got a wooden camera. Uh, texture paste, I've got that, and a border punch, and that's what those tickets are, is a border punch. And I'm wondering if I needed anything else from here. And I'm thinking that I do not. I have my um, overlapping hearts on the second page here. And then some gears and a little notebook edge there. And another yellow arrow here. So I think I'm good. My page is finished. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm recording this before my surgery, and by the time this uh, video goes live, it'll be I'll be four days into my recovery, and I'll um, when I post this on uh, Instagram and and uh, all around and Facebook and in the the Bramble Fox um, friends page, I'll update you on how that's going. So I thank you for watching. Bye.